السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو اوور ٹو ڈے سیشن آئی ہوپ آل آف یو ار ڈوئنگ گریٹ اینڈ ایوری ون ہیز بین ہیر ہیز نوٹ کورڈ ٹل ناؤ ٹل یسٹرڈے لیٹس بگن وتھ ٹو ڈیز ٹاپک ٹو ڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ سم تھنگ دیٹ از کالڈ آ لائبریری اینڈ دا نیم آف دیٹ لائبریری از میتھ لائبریری so before proceeding to that let us let us understand what is a library right so if we talk about the simplest definition of a library is library is a collection of program uh, that are pre written right so that when you call those libraries so certain functions can be performed for example here you have an example written uh, that you have to calculate the circumference and area of the circle you know that how you can calculate it c equals to 2 pi r right now as you know we don't have any uh, thing here to write pi instead of that what we can write is this pi right but uh, before proceeding that let's assume that Uh, the value of r is equals to 2 and we know that c is equals to 2 pi times r so it will be 2 times pi times r when we execute this code it will given us an error pi is not defined our program doesn't understand what is pi similarly when we try to calculate the area a is equals to pi times r square again sorry pi times r square again when we run it it will give us that the word the variable pi it is not defined to deal with this because the pi is not uh default built in function within python either you are using jupyter you are using um spider you are using google colab whatever if you write pi this will not understand other than that if you like that if you write in this way that circumference is equals to 2 times instead of pi you can write 3.142 which is the value and the value of the radius now when we execute it it will execute without any error and when we try to print the value of c it will give us the result as well right because 2 is an integer 3.142 is a float number and 2 again an integer so there is no harm in that but if we want to calculate this value automatically that uh, without defining that pi is equals to 3.142 then we need to do something what is that we need to import the library which is called import math library so for now i can delete this from here so that there will be no confusion that if this problem is get resolved because of this or not and i'm going to reset my this whole notebook reset and clear outputs so now again we are back to our initial problem that we have to calculate the circumference and area of a circle with a radius r we are uh, going we are going to use these two equations c is equals to 2 pi r a is equals to pi r square right as i told you that pi function is not built in here so we are going to import Uh, a library that is called import math and how to import you just need to write like import space math and execute this cell now 
as we have executed this uh, we have imported this in the previous cell so there is no need to import again we can just define our radius that radius is equals to 0 0.43 and then we can calculate circumference equals to 2 times math dot pi that means it is going to pick the value of pi from math library and then it is going to multiply it with r in this way we will have our circumference so now when we execute it you can see we didn't define pi value but pi automatically get its value from this library similarly again this is the circumference and for the area we will use pi r square so again math dot pi for the value of pi times r into uh, square when we execute it we will get the value of two points uh, we will get the value of circumference and area as you know we can customize this message as that the circumference of the circle is comma and here the area of the circle is cute here you can put the equals to sign as well so it is a customized message whatever you like you can here i think this is clear again we have another example in which we have the value of r uh, is a little bit different but here we have used another approach which is called selective here you can see from math the syntax is little bit change from math import pi so that means we are not going to import the whole library instead what we are going to do we are going to import the value of pi only and the rest of the radius then write the equation to calculate c and then write the function to print c this is it so this can also be done but it's up to you either you go for selective import or you can import the whole library uh, both of these approaches are fine another um, example is converting the degrees into we have a radius of this and uh, we are going to convert this into radians so this is moon over 12 degree travel distance on moon right and then we are uh, storing this its value into another the variable which is called distance or dist so again this is another example of a selective import in which we are importing only the radians right so this is the distance that is covered again you can customize it with the total word in radians here the problem is there is a dis uh, there is a travel across uh, on the moon which is about 12 degrees and we need to represent this distance into radians so what we are given is radius of the moon and the degrees so distance how you can cal calculate you can calculate by multiplying the radius of the moon with the radians of these 12 degrees so what we did we just multiply these two together and we have this 
value. Right? Okay. okay, there is a syntax error. We can just run it and we have this value here. Right? So this is uh, one of the library which is called math. Sometimes it is used for basic mathematical uh, equation in which you need uh, different uh, values like uh, how to convert radian degree into radians, how to get the value of pi, and there are so many scientific numbers that either uh, write in your program or you need to memorize so that you can whenever you like to use um, you can just use them right so this is all for today and in the next session we are going to continue with another library which is very interesting one that is called the numpy till then take care bye bye